In this module, we're going to look at something called a source group. Under the Immediate Backup Summary window, we click on Sources, and then we have a button that says New Group. So we select that and we can type in the group name. We type in the name Accounting, click OK, and then we have our group. What we can do now is we can take a disk and we can drag it into that group. Retrospect will then display that item for us as an alias. If we select that group and click OK, Retrospect will then copy all of the disks that are available in that group. We can also remove items from the group by highlighting them and pushing delete on the keyboard. What we're going to do now is we're going to click subvolume and pick several folders. We're going to shift click on a few folders and click define. And now we have a listing of folders that we can copy. We're going to take those folders and drag them down to one of our accounting groups. Once we select the accounting group and click OK, Retrospect will do something called resolving of the container. When we click Preview, it's going to scan each of the items in that source group and then back it up. The whole point of groups is it gives you a way to organize your sources for more easy backup and for better organization within scheduled backups or immediate backup scripts. If we close all of the browser windows that just opened, we can see that it lists each folder separately, even though the source that appears here is just the single item called accounting. And that's a container resolution. It allows us to add additional items to the source group without having to modify either your scheduled backup script or, in this case, the immediate backup. So if a new folder were to come along that we want to back up, all we need to do is select it, pick the folder from the list, define it, then drag it down to the group and it will be automatically added for future backups.